Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, let's talk Africa Cup of Nations. We had the first big one today, uh, yesterday, um, between Algeria and Senegal. And yeah, I'm wearing my Algeria shirt, which yeah, I told you, the Fennec is the reason why I wanted to get that one. But we'll start first in Group B, uh, where we had the second matchup. We had Nigeria, Burundi, ah, Nigeria against Guinea, uh, one nil. Uh, Madagascar uh, wins against Burundi late uh, by the same score uh, scoreline. Il Mahar <laughs> Maharitra uh, scores the win. I think it was a nice long range effort. Um, from what I could see from the short highlands, Madagascar had the better of uh, the chances at least. Um, and yeah, we moved on. I find those Madagascar jerseys glorious, I have to say. I really like this uh, tribal pattern here in the center. Burundi is played in the same jerseys as they played against Nigeria, not so much. But yeah, Madagascar now. Sits quite pretty. Uh, having four points, their initial um, win, it was a matchup between two um, debutants uh, at the Africa Cup of Nations in Madagascar, gets the win and is at least in third place. And you know, you don't look that bad uh, with four points. Uh, Guinea is the team in trouble that they have to uh, beat Burundi uh, in order to get, have a chance and hope that Nigeria and Madagascar don't. Uh, settle for a draw, something like that. So that's the interesting state at the moment in Group B. But in Group C, it was all about Algeria and Senegal. The first big matchup uh, at the Africa Cup of Nations, and right from the get go, I can tell you, you could see that those are two heavyweights. The first half was a true heavyweight fight that went back and forth. Sadio Mane was back in the lineup. Uh, I saw most of the game and I have to say um, I was impressed except not so much with the jersey match although the, the green Algeria jerseys grew on me I take some liking to the Senegal jerseys but I don't like what they have here on the shoulders uh, the form strap should go all the way through I like that they have the lamp pattern but it's not that visible I actually would have preferred this matchup uh, switched where Algeria is the home team and Senegal the away team I think it would have looked just a tad nicer. Um, I always, Senegal should have more colorful jerseys given their flag. I think there should be also red and yellow in there. Anyway, it was a back and forth affair where, um, you know, you have Nyan, Keita, Balde, Sadio, Mane made a lot of um, trouble going forward. On the other side, we had Riyad Mahrez, Sofian Feguli, and Bune Ja, especially, who um, really were nasty in, in the box and maybe at the first Senegal had a little bit more um, of the game and some chances but Algeria was always dangerous especially with Riyad Mahrez and Feguli uh, it was quite the sight to watch and um, yes uh, the most contentious scene I think in the first half was when um, Mané was taken down in the box but the ref gave a foul right before that and so you just get a free kick instead of a penalty. Honestly, yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, the foul occurred first. On the other side, I think with a little bit more oversight, you should have given the penalty there. Um, also, the, the Senegalese defense was really frustrated. And I have to say, Koulibaly even, uh, who played his good game. But uh, you could see his frustration was growing. Uh, especially with Abune Ja, who really was a pest. Uh, this is a nasty striker as much as it can be, uh, which was really interesting to see. And also, in the latter stages of the first half, you could see that Algeria is taking over, uh, which is something that I somehow expected. Not only uh, because I, when I look at the lineup, they are really even. Also, uh, Algeria has a little bit of, um, you know, not home content advantage, but it's played in North Africa. You have a lot more fans from Algeria than Senegal in the stand. So there's a slight advantage too. Also, you know, uh, despite the rivalry, there is some common cultural thread with Northern Africa. And yeah, I thought that at the end, Algeria really had the better of the game. When the game restarted, uh, Algeria really pedaled to the metal, went to... Um, 
uh, Senegal. I think already in the 48th, um, Feguli uh, uh, has a chance from a wide range shot that probably he should have put in, uh, but just a minute later, Belaili, a really similar chance, makes it 1 0 for Algeria. And at that coach, uh, at that time, the manager for Algeria, who was bleeding uh, from emotion on the um, sidelines, goes absolutely berserk. I mean, every missed chance, he is on his knees, he is there. His name is Jamal Belmadi. Uh, he was probably the uh, side to watch. Uh, absolutely. Algeria remains going forward, remains the better team. Uh, hangs now a little bit more back, but always dangerous on the counter. I thought they uh, were fully deserving of that lead. Only in the last 10 minutes, Senegal tried to come up again. Um, Niang and Mane had chances. Keita Balde had to be taken off in the 63rd um, because he clearly lost his steps. Um, so yeah, um, as I predicted in my uh, Africa Cup of Nations preview, I thought that Algeria will beat Senegal and will win the group. And actually, they are going; they are already advanced to the next round, um, which might not be to the detriment of Senegal because you avoid Egypt in the semis. Let's see how it will go. I think Algeria got a deserved one 0 win in that one, and it was a really good game to watch. Only saw highlights for Kenya, Tanzania, but that was also a good game to watch. Uh, namely, first, I really like the Tanzania shirts uh, in yellow and blue. That was unexpected, but really nice to see. And I said the Kenya shirts, I wish there was a little bit more of the other national colors in there. But it was a lively game. Mzuva gives Tanzania in the sixth minute the lead. Kenya then comes up, tries to get an equalizer. Olunga with a bicycle kick makes it 1-1, uh, but a minute later, Samata makes it 2-1 for Tanzania. However, um, Kenya can turn it around. Omolo gets the equalizer in 62nd and the 80th. Olunga gets the win, which overall from all I could see was to deserve the result, but um, seemed to be an entertaining game. It's the late game. That usually means there are better games and were quite some goals scored. Anyway, that's it from me for the Africa for Cup for today. Uh, we have today another big matchup between Morocco and the um, Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire, um, which is for surely interesting. We also have South Africa and Namibia as the late game and the early game pits uh, Tunisia against Mali, which is also a pretty interesting matchup. So we have two major games today. I'm not sure how much I will watch because I will probably watch the uh, France USA quarterfinal, which is not concurrently. So I probably could watch all three, but I have to work as well. So let's see how it how, how it goes. But I'm really looking forward to all these matchups, um, at least in highlights. I mean, Tunisia, Mali, with the great jersey from Mali and Ivory Coast, Morocco. That's more like it. I think the second match day, there is a lot of matchups and we have uh, tomorrow even Cameroon against Ghana. Cannot ask for more. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.